Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Over the years, I've often been asked, how does one go about moving Lightroom from an old computer to a new computer? Well, I've never really done a video demonstrating how it's done. And just yesterday, I received that very question from one of my Patreons. So I decided I'd do a video to show you how to go about doing this. It's probably a little easier than you may have imagined. Now, to move my Lightroom library would take a long time. I have 50, 60,000 images in my Lightroom library. So for this demonstration, I'm going to move my son Joe's Lightroom library. He only has 493 images in it. But believe me, it doesn't matter how many images you have in your Lightroom library, it can be moved. It just will take longer if you have more images. Now, there's two different types of files we're going to have to move. One is, of course, the images. We have to move all the images to the new computer, and we have to move the actual Lightroom catalog. The Lightroom catalog contains a number of files in it, and we're going to have to move all those as well. Now, let's start with the images. You have to know where your images are kept. Hopefully, you just know where they are on your computer. If you don't, Go to the library module and go to the left-hand panel and you can see that I have a Morganti drive and on that Morganti drive is a folder called Joe's Pictures. And that folder happens to be the parent folder and you can see how that folder contains all the other folders of his images. So if I close that down, that's the only folder we'll see. Now you may not be able to see the parent folder in your view in your library module. If you don't, go to the uppermost folder over here on the left-hand panel and right-click on it, then go down to Show Parent Folder. So that way you know what the parent folder is. So I know that the parent folder is called Joe's Pictures, and it's on my Morganti drive. Now I have to move that entire folder to an intermer intermediary location. Usually that's going to be an external drive. So we're going to copy all this stuff to an external drive from the old computer, bring that external drive over to the new computer, plug it in, and then copy everything off that external drive onto the new computer. So for this demonstration, I happen to have a 256 gigabyte flash drive plugged in and it's empty. Now I have to move all these images to this drive and I know it's on the Morganti drive in my case of course yours isn't going to be called Morganti drive you have to let navigate to where they are and it's called Joe's pictures right there now it's important that you move the entire folder as is do not rearrange images in the folders that are in here in the in the uh, children folders don't delete anything just move it as is so I'm going to just move them as is to the flash drive. And of course, whatever you're using is an intermediary uh, location for these files, these images and whatnot. So that's that. Now the images are moving. Now I mentioned that the other thing we have to move is the actual Lightroom catalog. Now that might be a little more tricky to find. It's really relatively easy though. Open up Lightroom on your old computer, then go up to, if you have a Mac, the Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, this is under the Edit menu. Then go to Catalog Settings. Along the top of Catalog Settings, you'll see there's three tabs. Go to the General tab and you'll see Location. This is the location of the folder that contains my Lightroom catalog and you can see there it is and that folder is called Joe's Lightroom in this case because of course it's my son Joe's. If you didn't change anything when you installed Lightroom and began using Lightroom yours is probably just called Lightroom. So just so you get an idea but in this case I changed it because I use this computer for my images and my Lightroom catalog is called Lightroom. So hopefully, hopefully that's not confusing. But we're going to move this entire folder and all the folders that are in it and all the files that are in it. But we have to find it. Easy to do. It's right here. And you'll see right here there's a little button show. Click on show. 
And in my case, because I'm using a Mac, Mac Finder opens up. If you have a Windows computer, um, Windows File Explorer opens up, and it will open and have that folder highlighted. There it is, Joe's Lightroom. Now, again, yours is probably going to be called Lightroom. There, I have a Lightroom folder. That's actually my Lightroom catalog, but we're moving Joe's. Inside of Joe's, you're going to see that there's a folder and a number of files. So we're going to move all of that. So we're going to move that to our 256 gigabyte flash drive. So I'm just going to drag it and let that copy as well. Now, I'm going to let those copy. It's going to take a little while, but I'm going to pause the video. And once these are completely copied, I'll resume the video. Okay, we're back and everything copied over. I have the catalog, the Lightroom catalog copied. That's called Joe's Lightroom on this 256 gigabyte flash drive. That's all the files inside of that folder. And there's also one folder inside of that folder. And below that, I have all of Joe's images. They're in a folder called Joe's Pictures. And you can see there's all the subfolders. Now remember, it's, it's important that you don't change anything in any of these folders. Leave them as is. Now I'm going to shut down my iMac and I'm going to take this 256 gigabyte flash drive and plug it into my MacBook Pro and I'll show you what we'll do from that point on. So you're going to see me on the MacBook Pro in one moment. Okay, we're on the MacBook Pro now, and I plugged in that 256 gigabyte flash drive, and you can see there's our two folders. The one is called Joe's Lightroom, that's the Lightroom catalog, and Joe's pictures are the actual image files. Now Lightroom is installed on this computer, but it is closed. So keep Lightroom closed, and we need to copy these folders to the new computer. We're gonna start with the photos. It doesn't matter what you start with, but I'm gonna start with the photos themselves. You could copy them anywhere on your new computer. You could copy them to the um, drive, to the, you know, the, the actual drive of the computer. You could copy them to an external drive that's plugged into the computer. You could copy them to a RAID array. It doesn't matter. You could copy them anywhere you'd like. I'm going to just for this demonstration to prove that you could copy them anywhere you'd like, I'm going to copy them right to the desktop. So I'm going to take this entire folder. This is Joe's pictures, and I'm just going to copy it to the desktop. Now that, of course, will take a while. And I'll pause the video as it copies this 11 gigabytes of images over. And I'll resume the video once they're all completely copied onto the desktop. Then we'll copy the actual Lightroom catalog to the MacBook Pro. OK, all the photos have copied to the desktop now. Here they are on the desktop. Now we have to take care of the catalog. And remember that in this case, the catalog folder is called Joe's Lightroom. Yours probably is going to be called Lightroom, but it could be different. Just, you know, once you find it, you copied it to this intermediary, intermediary drive. We now have to copy it to the new computer. You could put this anywhere you'd like also. I'm going to put it in the pictures folder, which is on this computer. Now, if I didn't mention already, obviously I'm going from an iMac to a MacBook Pro Apple products. This will work with Windows as well. Do it exactly like I'm doing it. The only difference is I'm opening up Finder Windows in Mac. And if you're using a Windows computer, you're going to be opening Windows File Explorer Windows. So I'm going to open a new Finder window here. And I'm going to put this, I mentioned, in the pictures drive, so or the pictures folder, I'm sorry. So it's right here. Again, you could put it anywhere you'd like. This is where I'm going to put it. And you can see that I have a folder called Lightroom. That's my actual Lightroom catalog. Now we're going to add Joe's Lightroom catalog to it. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to drag that and put that in, in this pictures folder. Okay. I have everything copied over to the new computer. Now I need to open up Lightroom. But if I just open up Lightroom, it's going to, in my case, it's going to open up uh, my Lightroom catalog. I want to open up Joe's Lightroom catalog. And in your case, too, on the new computer, it won't know what it's opening because you've probably never opened Lightroom before on that computer. 
or if you did, it has a Lightroom catalog that isn't the one you're actually just the one you've actually just moved. So the easiest way to do this is go inside of the catalog folder you just copied. Now I just copied Joe's Lightroom. This is the catalog for Joe's um, images. We're going to open that up. You need to look for a very specific file. And that file will end in .lrcat. That's the catalog file. And in this case, it's called Joe's Lightroom .lrcat. Again, yours isn't going to be called Joe's Lightroom .lrcat. Yours is probably going to be called Lightroom .lrcat. C-A-T, I'm sorry. So you click on that file. So there it is. And we're just going to double click on it. Just double click on that dot lrcat file and we will open in this instance joe's lightroom catalog in lightroom so now it's open whoop de doo okay well what do we do well in this case if you look over at the far left hand side or if we go over to the develop module it might be better you'll see the file cannot be found because it doesn't know where the images are. On the iMac, the images were on that Morganti drive. I don't have the Morganti drive on this computer. So the catalog is looking for images on a drive that doesn't exist. The images, though, are on the desktop. And if you look over here in the library module, you'll see that every folder has a little question mark next to it. That means it can't find the files. It can't find the images. You just have to tell Lightroom where they are. Go to the parent folder, that's the uppermost folder. The, in this case, of course, it was called Joe's Pictures. Right click on that. Go down to Find Missing Folder. When you have a Mac, Mac Finder again opens up. If you have a PC, Windows File Explorer opens up. Just navigate to where that folder is. We just copied it to the desktop. So I'll go to the desktop. There's the folder. Just click on that folder and then click Choose. And once I do that, you'll see that once I unfold this, Joe's pictures, all 493 of them, are now found. And there's no more question marks next to any of those folders. So all of them are there. And then if you go to the develop module, you can see that there's no error showing us that it didn't find the images. So very simply, it found the images. And there you go. All the files are found. Everything's ready to roll. We're on the new computer and everything's as it was on the old computer. So it's, you know, relatively easy to do. It will be kind of time consuming if you have a very large Lightroom library because you got to move all those image files. But that's it. I'm sorry I didn't do this video sooner, um, but finally I've done it. Hopefully this helps you move your Lightroom from an old computer to a new computer. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.